new wall ever sharp skyline pens is relatively straightforward to disassemble. You have this fascinating piston turning knob which you can take out and then here you have the actual piston turning knob. I'll show you a secret. Hold on to it. How about that? It's a converter. The converter for cleaning purposes can be disassembled. You can unscrew this whole metal turning knob part. It's one piece then take out the piston, put silicon grease on there as well as on the threads so as to ensure smooth operation. When you're ready, put it back into the ink reservoir, take the turning knob, screw it back on there, everything, everything should operate smoothly. The actual barrel can be disassembled as well, not the barrel itself but the nib and feed. Put the nib on the crook of your finger, put your thumb on there. Unscrew the barrel. Just the tube now. Empty barrel. Easy for flushing out. Nib and feed. A friction fit can be pulled out for easy cleaning. Once you're done cleaning, roughly align the shoulders of the nib to the shoulders of the feed. Take your uh, nib collar. Notice how there is a little bit that's flattened off. That's where the underside of the feed goes in. It should only fit in one way. Now, Crucial here, make sure the feed is pushed in all the way. That leaves a long gap there, so if you got bad flow, you can try moving the feed up a little bit so that it's closer to the end of the nib tip. However, if you do that, you may experience ink leaking. So if that happens, push the feed in all the way. Then it should click in place with that little round tube there. That is, the converter goes on to. You see, when you do this, be careful you don't lose this little gold ring. It slides around a bit. Once you're ready, everything is clean, take the barrel, screw it onto the nib. If you screw the barrel onto the nib as opposed to the nib on the barrel, you will not misalign nib and feed. Take that, take your converter, pop it in. Take the little blind cap, screw it back in, cap the pen, sit back and have yourself some haggis.